Okay, thanks so much. Well, back in 1944, two African-American women were turned away from a restaurant in Media, Delaware County. Two white women saw what happened and took them to a different restaurant where they were all served together. Out of that instant friendship and acceptance of diversity came the idea for the Media Fellowship House, a place that still exists today. Here to tell us more are Jerry Duffy, Executive Director of the Media Fellowship House, Jelani Ghana of the College Access Center of Delaware County, and Alexia Walker, who recently won a scholarship from the Media Fellowship House. We thank you all for what you do, making a difference. This is what it's all about. Thank this you. is what it's all about. Tell us, young man, about the Fellowship House, its mission, its goals. Well, our, its mission is to promote uh, uh, acceptance and understanding of various cultures. Mm -hmm. um, again, like you just alluded to, um, it was founded back in 1944, um, basically to fight discrimination. And that was the catalyst for the event that, um, that formed the organization. And some 70 years later now, we're celebrating our, our That's anniversary. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And you're the executive director. What does it mean to you to be the head of this project and this organization? You have to have a, a personal touch to it. You know, it's funny because I was thinking about what I was going to say at this particular 70th anniversary uh, celebration. Uh -huh. and. I looked back on the history of the organization and there were so many remarkable people involved. I hear you. So many remarkable people. Um, I am just one part of a long legacy uh, and tradition and I'm just deeply honored to have been able to uh, be a part of it. I know that's right. And so are these two fine folks right here. Jelani, tell me about your association. You've teamed up and it, the foundation has to do with higher education. Talk to us Absolutely, about that. Yuki. You know, I'm a media native, so I grew up in the Media Fellowship House. And mm -hmm. after spending a lot of time in professional sports, I had a chance to come back and be the director of the College Access Center. We're the only College Access Center in Delaware County, and we help students get to college. We know how difficult it is for them to find their way to college, mm -hmm. and it's an awesome opportunity. So students of all backgrounds, correct? Students of all backgrounds. Okay. We're located on the campus of Widener University, so as long as they're in middle school, going to high school, and they want to go to college or pursue a career, they can come to the College Access Center for free, and we give them all kinds of help. What type of response have you gotten? It's been fantastic. Almost 4,000 students throughout Delaware County have used the College Access Center. Adults, traditional age students, middle school students, and we're giving them all the information and help that they need to, to reach their dreams. And Lexi, you wrote a, an essay, yes. won a scholarship. Mm -hmm. How does that scholarship help you personally, first of all? It was actually like a really good help. Like, you know, going into college and stuff, you have a lot of stuff to pay for, like sure. books. You go to Westchester. Yeah, I go to right. Westchester uh -huh. University. Like books and stuff, or like a lot of little things, and it really helped me out with that, especially like getting textbooks, because textbooks are nice. really expensive. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember. And you wrote the essay on discrimination. Yes. What did you tell everyone? Um, well, when I heard the story, when they showed us the video about like the whole story with the lady and stuff, um, it kind of touched me a little bit because, you know, racism, like even through after the civil rights and all that stuff, like mm -hmm. racism still goes on today. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. even though it might not be as severe as that, but sometimes I might have experienced something like that, but like maybe like little different stereotypes or whatever, but that's how to. Do you look at yourself me. as a role model right now? Because you are a future young lady. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know so, indeed. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing, all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Once again, the Media Fellowship House, a great organization. They're having, once again, their 70th anniversary gala, and I'll be there to MC it, kick it off. Bill Whitaker of 60 Minutes will be honored as well. It's next Wednesday night at the Drexel Brook. We have more information on our website, cbsphilly.com. Just click on Talk Philly. Thank you all once again. Appreciate you. you. We'll be right back.